Evening they stay for the night, rejoicing for the morning. Psalm 30, verse 5. It gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint, as they are 40, 29, and 31. Amen. And God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. Second Corinthians 9, verse 8. You shall remember the Lord your God, for He, uh, for it is He who has given you the power to make love, that He may confirm His covenant, which He swore to your fathers, and, at, and it is this day. Deuteronomy 8, 18. You will prosper if you are careful to observe the statutes and ordinances which the Lord commanded Moses concerning Israel. Be strong and courageous. Do not fear nor be dismayed. First Chronicles 22 13. This is one of my favorites. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In, in all your ways acknowledge him, for he will make your path straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from. It will be healing to your body and refreshing to your bones. Honor the Lord from your wealth and from the first of all you will produce. So the barns will be filled with plenty, and your vast will overflow with your body. Proverbs 3, 5, and 10. Amen. Jesus said to him, If you can, all things are possible to him who believes. Mark 9, verse 23. Therefore I say to you, all the things for which you pray and ask, believe that you have received them, and they will be granted to you. Mark 11, 24. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Philippians 4, verse 6 through 7. My God, your God, I will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4 19. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Philippians 4 verse 13. Beloved, do not be surprised at the fiery. Beloved, do not be surprised at the fiery ordeal among you which comes upon you for your testing, as though some strange thing were happening to you. But to the degree that you that you share the sufferings of Christ, keep on rejoicing so that also at the revelance of his glory you may rejoice with exhaustion. First Peter 4, 12 to 13. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they will not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be scorched, nor will the flame burn you. Isaiah 43, verse 2. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not despairing, um, persecuted, but not forsaken, sucked down, but not destroyed. Seven Corinthians 4, 18. Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you at the proper time, casting all your anxiety upon him, because he cares for you. 1 Peter 5, 6 through 7. To grant those that who mourn and die, giving them a garden instead of ashes, the oil of their gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of the spirit of fainting. So they will be called oaks of righteous. The planting of the Lord that he may be glorified. Isaiah 61 3. The Lord is the one who goes ahead of you. He will be with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. Deuteronomy 3 verse 8. Amen. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be anxious. Do not anxiously look about you, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Surely I will keep you safe. Surely I will uphold you and or uphold you with my righteous hand. Isaiah 41. Okay. God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that 
always having all sufficiency in everything, you may have an abundance for every good deed. 2 Corinthians 9, verse 8. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? The Lord is the defense of my life. Whom shall I dread? Isaiah 27, 9. Blessed be the Lord who daily bears our burden, the God who is our salvation. Psalm 68, verse 19. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you are called in one body and be faithful. Colossians 3, verse 15. Amen.
First and foremost, I'd like to thank everyone for being here today, for sharing the spirit and word of the song. It is a deal that's being put on by the choir that you're all invited to move downstairs immediately following us. Next Sabbath at 6 o'clock will be the combined choir performance and Christmas concert. Uh, we're inviting everyone to come forward and take part in that wonderful time of praising the Lord, putting the Lord first and placing ourselves behind the cross. And so we mark the calendars at 6 o'clock next Saturday. Okay.